Hello there guys and welcome back to another review and today I will be taking a look at the PNSO Duke the Spinops. Now Spinops or as it's known as Spinops Sternbergorum which name means Sternberg's spine face is a genus of Centrosaurine ceratopsian that lived in the late Cretaceous period 76 million years ago in what is now Alberta, southern Canada. It was around 4.5 to 6 meters long and around 1.5 to 2 tons in weight. Now, when the first material of Spinops was found, as was only known from a very partial skull, it was called by Arthur Smith Wood Woodward of the Natural History Museum as nothing but rubbish and it was kept in the Natural History Museum in their vault um, for nearly a hundred years until 2011 when a lot of people went through their drawers and they found that this Ceratopsian was a completely new species and thus Spinops sternbergorum was named and described. Now, as Spinops is not known from a lot of material, most of it has been inferred from other species. But the skull here looks really, really nice. I think they did a great job of using what the fossil specimen showed and have really done a great job of it. See here, so we'll take a look at the, at the skull first of all, the head. The head is really, really nice. Although it is done this, this weird white paint is over the head. I'm not sure what that is meant to be. I do find it a little odd, but aside from that, the rest of the, the head is really, really nice. We've got the nostrils there and the beak. The mouth is closed. We've got the nose horn here. We have two brow horns. And then up to the frill, we've got two horns that curl down and two horns that poke up from the frill, along with the epicytals around there. The frill is very nicely done in this nice orange and yellow pattern, while um, the face is like this sort of brownish black. As we go down the body, it's in this nice green color with uh, dark green stripes going down and yellow and orange and brown for the rest of the body. It actually looks very, very nice in hand. The skin detail is very nice here with a lot of the scoots and little scales that you can see that have been sculpted onto here. That's been very, very nicely done. See, especially here. Uh, the tail is curled, as you can see here. It doesn't really look that out of place, but you can see there's a lot of musculature here. As you can see, it is quite a chunky figure, but that's because ceratopsins, they would have been quite um, broad, quite chunky in the middle. Uh, underneath, you can even see underneath, Right around here, there's some wonderful scale detail that you can see there. It's really, really nice. There's the PNSO logo right there. With the toes, we've got three that have been painted and the other two are not, which is correct. And then we have four painted toes at the back. You can see there's some nice musculature around the legs here. That's really, really nice. And this foot here has been pulled back as, is, as if it's moving. It's another shot there of the face. There are no ear holes, but they would have been around there on the skull. But yeah, I really do like how the frill has been done with all these, the, the nice green, yellow and orange. It really makes a vibrant looking frill. Very nice looking head sculpt. And like most of these medium sized PNSO figures, it comes with a very nice box. As you can see on the front, we've got the image of the Spinops on there. So there's up here PNSO, prehistoric animal models that accompany your growth. Number 16, Duke the Spinops. The scientific art world of Zhao Chuang and Yang Zhang. And Yang Yang, I think that's how I print that's how you pronounce it. If I have butchered that name, I really do apologize. And then on the top we have a clear image here of the Spinops. And inside, it does come in a plastic covering to protect the figure, as well as a little fact sheet about the dinosaur itself. So I really like that PNSO includes that in there. 
And just for a little comparison, here is Cedar, the Ankylosaurus, and Patton, the Megalodon. Now these are the only three medium-sized PNSO figures I own, but I think these are great figures from PNSO. I will leave a link to the Patton, the Megalodon review, and Cedar, the Ankylosaurus review, in the description box below. You can also find these figures on Everything Dinosaur, which I will also leave in the description box below. Or you can find these figures as well as many other PNSO figures, including a lot of their minis. I mean, they do also have a mini Spinops, also called Duke, but I do not have that one with me. I have not purchased that one yet. But I think this is a rather good figure of a very obscure species of Ceratopsian. Only quite, only recently described back in 2011, but um, PNSO are the only companies to have actually done Spinops. And I do think the Beasts of the Mesozoic line also has a Spinops coming out, but that won't be until next year. But I think, for the moment, this is a really nice Spinops figure. I think they've really done their, their history, their research on Spinops. They've definitely got their, their head and the frill correct and all the horns. The rest of the body has been inferred from other Ceratopsians, but I think it looks really, really nice. The, the white stuff around the head, I will definitely say again, is very odd and peculiar. Maybe they were trying to do some sort of wash. And you can, you can see it very clearly, especially there around the eye, which has been nicely done, and around the nose here. But yeah, it is a little odd, but it's nothing there's nothing it's, it, that I can't fix myself, which is just a little nitpick. But yeah, I think this is a rather nice figure. And I definitely recommend you guys pick it up. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, my next review, I will be taking a look at the Safari Limited 2017 Tylosaurus. So look out for that very soon. And just stay tuned for my next review. So please take care and have a great day. Bye.